Hello? Right, right, right. What's up guys and welcome back to LSJ TV. I am back from a very cold trip around Market Square. I didn't actually film anything, it was just family time so I just decided to keep the camera in my pocket and just enjoy the time. But the clip that you just saw there, that was a workout that was shoulder day today. Absolutely smashed it. New PB on bench and shoulder press as well. I've never actually pressed 70 on shoulder press and after what I said in a couple of videos ago, you guys were like, Liam, stop being stupid, keep progressing your shoulder press. And so that actually in turn has up my bench as well. So it's a very good decision. With that little introduction finished guys, let's get today's video started. So just before that first clip of the video, we've been to Audi and picked up a couple of bits. You guys know what I always say about zero calorie mixers. So diet lemonade, this was 17p and diet coke as well these pizzas are also from audi and i know what you're thinking yeah pizzas you can't really be having them but half a pizza contains 334 calories and so that makes the whole pizza less than 700 calories and now i know that sounds like a lot but for a pizza that's pretty damn good i've had pizzas that have been two three times that amount other than that just picked up some dishwasher tablets some eggs and some bagel thins and all of that stuff was around about seven pound so it doesn't have to be too expensive and actually to be honest about a fiver of that was the uh, was the dishwasher tablet so the bulk of today's video is actually going to be a sit down kind of talking like me and you just talking to the camera just something that hopefully you guys will find relatable and uh yeah so if that not if that's not for you then um, unfortunately i will see you next time there will be another video live on wednesday but if you are looking forward to that it will be in the title of this video and stick around Now, I know a lot of you guys have been asking for full days of eating in terms of the bulk and 0.5 pounds a week and how I'm going to go about that. Do not worry, that is on the way. That will be filmed and edited and everything and published over the next couple of weeks. But for now, I've had a lot of dissertation work. I've had my PT work to hand in and everything like that. Just been a little bit busy to vlog the entire day. So I've been finding that it's better to film less, but more at the same time. So like more better content rather than film absolutely everything that I'm doing in one day. It will be filmed over. Anyway, right, so the video's coming soon. As well as that, there will be the 10K challenge. I've decided I'm gonna do the 10K challenge again, guys. You guys know how difficult that was last time, but this time I'm gonna do it slightly differently. It's gonna be the 10K challenge with a difference, so stay tuned for that as well. By the way, I've wanted to show you guys this for a little while, and uh, if you know, then you know. Oh! <laughs> How many of you did I get then? Be honest, be honest in the comment section, be honest. By the way, there is the LSJ Fitness Black Friday sale and that will be live until midnight Sunday, so the day that this comes out, midnight UK time, that is it, that will be the cut off. If you have missed it, you have missed it, but do not miss out on the chance to get one of these babies. I think there's one black emblem tee and a medium. Do not worry, the V2s are coming very soon. The hats are also sold out, so grab a hoodie, while you can, use the code Black Friday. There'll be first link in the description box to the website. Now that you've got a few days, I mean, you do have a while, but you kind of want to know where you're going at least over the next few. That was just a quick call with my friend Jake. I don't really know why I vlogged it because none of you give a shit, but I know he's watching it, so hey, Jake. Right, it is time to make some dinner. We have fajitas tonight. Let's go. <laughs> Brilliant. Trying to be a hard man for the camera. Fuck's sake. Mmm. 
Well, that did not last long. Shower time. Okay, so moving on to the sit down portion that I mentioned of the video now. And I just wanted to take a couple of minutes because I know this video is pretty long already. I want to take a couple of minutes to address a question that a few people have asked me. And that is, why do I go to the gym? And to be honest, the, the, the underlying reason is that since I've done the consistency series and the growth series and everything like that, it's almost bec you become, addicted is probably the wrong word, but in a, in a good way you kind of crave the gym, you kind of crave the positive endorphins that you get from going to the gym. And so, uh, and there's just, there's just something about waking up every single day and setting a challenge or setting a goal and achieving it. There's just something that I find really good. I don't know whether it's the structure, whether it's the, the drive, the, the ambition, the, the actual achievement of, of the goal. But something about that just keeps me getting up every single day, keeps me positive, keeps me keeps me driven. It gives me like it gives me a purpose to get up and go to the gym and film these kinds of videos that that you guys can hopefully take something from, you know. Because if you're watching this and you're similar to me, you're a student who just loves the gym and just loves what he does, then hopefully you can take something from these videos. So does anyone put you off going to the gym? So like say one of your friends let you down and they were you were fully gonna go for a, like a, I don't know, a big chest session or you know, it was a day that you had structure around the gym and they let you down, would that put you off going or would you feel that that would no. actually no, uh, it, make you go it, more? Purely because, the, <laughs> purely because the, I go to the gym for me, I don't go to the gym for, for, for them. I, don't, I mean, if they want to come and get the same positive experience that I'm gonna have, then great. Like, we can all do this together, sort of, you know, as I always say, together we will grow. But, if they bail out or whatever, it doesn't mean that I'm not going to go. I mean, if a gym buddy helps you, then fair enough, yeah. Go with a gym buddy as much as you can, but don't not go to the gym and get that positive experience, those positive endorphins, the positive just mental attitude overall that you get from going. Don't not go because your gym buddy hasn't gone. At the end of the day, you go to the gym for yourself. You go to the gym to better yourself, to, to achieve a goal that you set for yourself. And so don't let the fact that someone doesn't want to go stop you from going, if that makes sense. Like today in, in, in the gym, like going back to what I said about being uh, bettering yourself, waking up every day, being better than you were yesterday. In the gym today, there was someone, oh, it was shoulder day, myself and Jake were training shoulders, upper body shoulder exercises. You guys know the routine. You start off with shoulder press. You guys seen it at the start of the video, I did 70 kilos today. I upped it to 70 kilos for the last set and I started off at 65. And the guy next to me was shoulder pressing and he, he, he was, you know, walking around sort of like this, like giving it the big, you know, whatever. He was just trying to, one of those people who looks like he owns the place, you know, you know the type. He, he was walking around and he didn't like the fact that I was shoulder pressing that amount of weight. And it, it made me think, why? Like, why, why, why do you even care how much someone else lifts? I'm well aware that someone else in the, in the fucking gym can bench 140 kilos. I can't bench 140 kilos. Like, shoulder press is just a genetic strong point of mine. And I go in still every single session to try and better that. Just as he should focus on himself and try and better his shoulder press. Not try and match mine. He shouldn't try to match anybody. It's like the old saying, your, your, your biggest competition is yourself. You can only look in the mirror and try and be better than the person you were yesterday. And at the end of the day, this series is called Growth. What I'm doing, learning more about myself, but only, but physically getting bigger as well. So, you know, I'm learning how, how to cut down and now I'm learning how to bulk up properly. Because I've done it shit, I've done it wrong, completely and utterly wrong. Last, the last few, the last couple of times I've done it, right? So, what, what, long, basically what I'm just trying to say is, go to the gym for you. Don't go to the gym for anyone else. Don't go, to, don't go if, if your gym buddy doesn't go, don't not go. If someone else is looking at you in the gym, who gives a shit? You are there for yourself. You aren't there for them. You are there to better yourself. Be better than the person you were yesterday. And that is the message that I want you to take away from this video, guys. And um, yeah, so that is that. Uh, hopefully, you, uh, hopefully you can either relate or at least take something from it one way or another. So, I want to thank you guys if you have made it this far in the video. We are off out tonight, so we are sat here 
with a pint ready to go to City S U. Woo! <laughs> I've got Jake behind the camera there. So um, yeah, so thanks a lot for watching guys. Uh, if you made it this far, drop the video a like and the comment down below in the comment section. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and turn on that notification bell because YouTube just loves to take away subscribers nowadays. And apparently it, it doesn't do that if you don't if you uh, if you click the bell. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching guys. Don't forget to leave a like. As always remember, no regrets. I'll see you guys in the next video.